If you ever hear anyone refer to using a back channel with their classroom or in a lecture or anything like that, chances are they are probably using Today's Meet. Today's Meet is a great, easy to use site and to get there you just click up here and you would type in todaysmeet.com. Now you can see over here that you can create an account, you can log in, but I never create an account. I just create a new room each time I need one. And here's how this works. So it says ready, get started right now. I'm going to click where it says my room and I'm going to give it a name. Uh, the name for my room, it would be best if it has something to do with what it is I'm going to engage my students in. So here is what I am going to use. It's telling me that name is not available. So I'm just going to add our year behind it, Mystery Skype 15. Now I can keep the room open for one week. I can keep it up open for a month. Any of these choices right here without having an account. And typically I will go ahead and choose one month and then I just click open your room. Now you notice whenever I did that, my URL changed and so now it says mystery Skype 15 behind it. Um, and this is the URL that I would give to my students so that way they could participate in this. And the way that they participate is simply right here where it says nickname, they would type in their name, click join, and then type in their message. You can see that they have 140 characters. So if my assignment for students is to read an article or watch a video and as you're reading or watching respond throughout with ideas or questions that you might have, they would just type that right here where the message is. So this is how it would work. Then I click say and you can see right here that now I will have this conversation that is listed here. It is a conversation that will be scrolling so we do not respond to each other. We just have a list of this conversation and that's it. It's that easy.